All right, welcome back to Battle Brothers. So, uh, had my mandatory throat clearing, which I put on an episode, which was a little controversial, but I think most of you guys were giving me feedback that it's kind of no-brainer and makes a lot of sense. Um, but we are starting our campaign in earnest this time. Um, I did play a little tiny bit off camera, and uh, but I'm still woefully under-practiced uh, right now. But let's think about what starting um, situation we want. We did Southern Mercenaries last time, and I was kind of hoping it might give us something closer to the Hogart start, which is kind of predictable, but instead, and well, anyway, you can watch that if, for a recap. Um, of my favorite starts, I would say, is uh, I do like the um, Peasant Militia for being able to get more men into battle, but I'm not going to pick it this time simply because it limits the kind of backgrounds you can get. Not that we're, I mean, the backgrounds that Banji from are pretty late game backgrounds anyway, so it's not the worst thing, but anyway. Um, I forgot what band of, oh yes, you move faster and always get it. Yeah, this is so great, this is so great. Fewer, yeah, this is such a good start. Um, trading Caravan I've done a few times and it's fun-ish, but not, I don't know. Um, the one I liked a lot that I've done off camera a lot is uh, Northern Raiders, but I find this one's very hard. Uh, and I, I do like the uh, perk you get from it, but for the way I kind of tend to play, I don't think it's going to be good, and I don't think it's going to be good on camera because there's so many, like, at least 50% of the time when I start with these guys, it goes terrible. Oh, look, there's the skulls and the... Yeah, not that I think that really means very much because they say, like, Lone Wolf is the hardest, but this is the one that, like, most people do as well as... Somebody was recommending Gladiators as well. Um... I think this maybe is reflective more if you get to late game content, but in the beginning, like, I think these are stronger. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, what we are going to do is, uh, I think we're going to do deserters. Let me check everything again. Uh, what are your, start with three deserters and decent armor, but lower funds and a noble house that wants to hunt you down. Is that permanent with the noble house? I can't remember. Um... If it's like the Northern Raiders, where your relations eventually go back up in over time, then it'll be okay. Uh, now, the thing I do like about Deserters, and what I kind of like about it for a uh, Iron Man-like gameplay, is the first to run ability. And how I would intend to use this is, first of all, you do get that chance if you need to run away. You can move first and almost guaranteed get your men out of danger. The way you end up getting killed sometimes later in the game is getting into a fight you want to escape, but your guys are wearing too heavy armor and they don't get to go fast enough and then they get locked down by something or whatever. Uh, whereas this will most likely get you into that situation where you can get your guys moved away and then you can just click the auto retreat and things go a little bit faster. However, there's, some, there's something else that it's good for, which is um, when you get into fights against high initiative archers, um, even when you're he wearing like heavy armor and stuff, but you have like kite shields or e not kite shields. Yeah, kite shields. Um, you get a chance in that first round of combat to put your shield up before they shoot, which can be so great because there's so many times when you get shot by arrows and then you get a wound and it's like, I didn't, I didn't even, even had a chance to move my guy yet. Um, the drawback obviously is that, um, you don't get to, if you get to move first in the first uh, round of combat, then that usually means that if the enemy has higher initiative than you, then they get to go second in the first round of combat, and then first in the second round of combat, which means they get to double move, basically. So that's the danger there. Uh, one other edge case where this is helpful is when you run into dire wolves, you get a chance to put up your spear wall first, which can be a very big benefit. So we're going to try deserters. Like I said, my, my worry about it is the uh, noble house that wants to hunt you down, whether that's just like a permanent thing. Um, and then the other problem we're going to have is we are going to play with, like, the stupid hard difficulty. Um, what's a good flag for deserters? Ooh, that's an interesting flag. Uh, we're still going to be the Pantaloons of Justice. Things go bad. Uh, I haven't had enough time to, uh, I know what you guys were saying too, like, permanent destruction can really wreck your game. I just want to see what it happens. Like, if it gets to that point, you know, if we get into the late game and permanent destruction is starting to crash, like, our our chances ruin our odds. We're just going to play through to see, you know, kind of the consequences of it. You know, it's like, it's okay to lose the game. I don't mind losing the game. I just want, I just want it to be uh, interesting and not feel like it was arbitrary. And so 
let's talk a little bit maybe about oh, well let's wait a second get into the game so yeah pantaloons justice late game prices i wish there was a way you could check ones you don't want because last time i had nobles war and so i'm like i'm okay with these three like give me a random for these three like it would be better if these were check boxes and then if you just clicked on random it's like check all of the boxes so yeah just disable the ones you don't want to have a chance for if you only want holy war then you uncheck all of them so that would be like what i would like is just i don't want nobles works i had that last time but we're just going to do random because i don't care uh Always the toughest difficulties. Uh, I have disabled Avast, so my critical need to turn off Iron Man is no longer here. Um, but I'm going to leave it on just because, or I'm sorry, I'm going to leave Iron Man off just because even though we're going to play Iron Man mode, uh, there's going to be too much new content. I don't have time to practice all of it. So, you know, if we run into a new enemy and I just lose badly and everybody dies just because I didn't understand how to fight that enemy, then, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and let myself reload. And, you know, all I promise is we're not going to save scum, you know, and redo fights that I lost just until I get a roll that works. I know unexplored map, this is a horrible idea, um, especially when you're playing uh, the uh, warrior, the barbarians, who you, like, have to get out of the north, kind of, um, and avoid towns and establishments that are going to hunt you down, and that's impossible to know when you can't even see the map. Uh, same thing with the deserters. Uh, so I know this is counterproductive, guys. You can scold me about this all you want. We're going to do it, though, because it's an option. It's there, and uh, I want to just see how it works. Let's see. Let's talk about what I want and what I don't like about the economy RNG, which I kind of commented on in the previous video. But um, I don't have a problem. I don't, I'm not complaining about the difficulty of the game, guys. What I'm complaining about is the consistency of the difficult start. Um, with the hard start, what I find is uh, that, well, let's check out our equipment. What I find is that uh, you get into your first town, it's like there's some basic things I kind of want for recruits. Uh, those basic things are, you know, in an ideal world, I would love to have uh, militia, whoops, not that. Um, I would love to have, uh, you know, militia spears and round shields. And that, it can or cannot happen sometimes it can be uh sometimes it can be uh you know a great deal on everything you need like perfect layout or sometimes it can be like last game where it's like you have a choice between a 600 gold spear which is way above the you know skill level of the um of the person you're putting it on you know like i don't need to give a peasant a 600 gold spear you know <laughs> um i would rather give him i'd rather have two peasants who can use like 600 dollars worth of like spears militia spears and um and uh shields sorry i'm a little distracted so i'm remembering the names to put in for our starting guys if you want a person name you can always put it in the comments i'll try to get to it and get it on the list uh so my ideal setup for a starting party is uh, I would like to have four frontliners and two backliners. Uh, one being my archer, another being somebody with a pike or you, you know a farm uh, pitchfork. Uh, I find that on the hardest difficulty, I can usually eke by my first, my early game if I get that. But the part of the RNG I don't like is that it is contingent upon being able to get you know even if it's not malicious spears, at least like a mace or something tier one, a tier one weapon. I'll I'll settle for you know a short sword or a falchion or something like that, you know, if I can afford it. Um, that's, that's just the bare minimum I want to get. And if you can't get that, it's kind of like, mm, feels bad, man. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a happy ending. So then I kind of like, ah, whatever. We're just going to, we're just going to go for broke on the RNG and hope that our first fight goes really well. And in the last one, it did not. So anyway, let's see, let's get down to business now, shall we? Uh, we have got excellent, excellent recruits, as you may have noticed, just as uh, you were watching here. So uh, we will take the plus four hit, point, hit points, uh, plus three melee skill. I am tempted at the moment to go ahead and grab the plus four on uh, ranged defense, even though our, of course, our resolve is terrible. Fatigue is a must have, but uh, I wouldn't mind grabbing a plus four when we get it here. We're gonna grab it here for Kenny the minion uh and then for his perks we're going to be optimistic and give student to these guys and hope that they survive uh yes you have oh fear of the end okay you got sorry tyler so you have you you have a crappy um perk but our other guys tough plus 10 hit points lucky i'm not going to complain about luck 
Uh, Tylus, you're the weakest of the bunch, but it's okay because you have uh, range skill, which is not going to be as helpful once we get into serious combat with the undead, so it's okay. Of course, our resolve is just abysmal. That's another liability taking this start. Uh, we are definitely taking the plus four max fatigue. Uh, we're definitely taking... Oh, boy, plus... Boy, you got good rolls, but anyway. We're taking definitely... Oh, my God. Oh, Tylus. Tylus. You are begging to be... Oh, my God. Such... Such good stats. This is the good thing about deserters. Uh, we are going to take the range skill, though. Um, you know, I'm not... Wait. I so want to go for a hybrid with you, but I'm not good at... I'm not good at hybrids. So, um, we're going to go ahead and go with the range defense first. Okay. There you go. And yes, student for you as well. All right, we are in. Um, okay, this is the faction that is hostile to us. Retinue, non-combat followers. Great, I haven't taken a look at that yet. Um, yep. I, I really hope, guys, that this isn't a permanent thing. But if it is, you know what? We're just going to deal with it. So this is where they're at. Where are we on the world in general? Okay, not helpful. <laughs> Um, let's see, what was the thing that, there we go, shift. Let's, um, let's move to the north. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, we'll move slowly here at first. And this may either be a long first episode or I may break it up into two parts, depending. Uh, we are going to speed up just a little bit. Oh, don't no, they, yeah, we don't want to fight caravan hands. They're not going to attack us, but I am worried about this watchtower. Boy, I wish I had a few more people in here and we'd go ahead and just attack them. Because, where are you from? Well, no, we don't want to be enemies with the indies. Sorry, I'm appropriating uh, game talk from other games. Uh, we don't want to make enemies with... Oh, come on. Anstead? Well, okay, I guess south is the way we're going. Uh, please don't come out of the tower. They would have already if they were going to, so we can just truck along. You guys aren't going to attack me, so we're fine. We do want to be a little careful about not running headlong into a patrol, which, speaking of, if we run into anybody, we want to run away, so we're going to be in the back line. Only five? Oh, dude, if I could just get to... This is Austinstad. From Austinstad. Oh, Austinstad, what is my relationship with you again? Hostile, just outright hostile. Like, there really wouldn't be a bad thing about attacking this caravan. I just, I need a few more recruits to do this. I, I, it's, that's too much RNG. If I was playing single player, I'd be like, you know what, screw it. We're going in with our three guys. We're going to attack that caravan. Two of those units are just, uh, well, it may be one, um, are just uh, caravan hands, which we should be able to handle, but because I don't want to, like, have another restart, we're going to play a little conservatively. So, please find me a town where I can hire people. It's nighttime, so it doesn't matter as much, does it? Are you friendly? Friend or foe? Friend. Tonder. Unfortunately, it's nighttime. Let's go in anyway. Like I said, we just want to go in here. What do we got? Uh, how many crowns are we talking about? We need to be paid more for this. Uh, except, what is this? Drive off barbarians. I'll need some time to think about that. We ain't fighting no barbarians right now. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for dawn, grab some recruits, hopefully meet that caravan, and uh, destroy it to get some stuff. All right, what you got for hire? I love the brawlers. They're expensive, though. They are an expensive investment. Uh, he is cheap. What have you got for armor that I could give him? Uh, you amazingly don't have a pitchfork. Here's what I'm talking about, guys. This is the equipment I want to see. Give me a shield. Give me a spear. That's right. Uh, oh, we are low on money. Yeah. It's pretty expensive. We don't have anything but the worst of all hats. The worst of all hats is what we have available. 
Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put that on you. Put that on you. Uh, sword, axe, take the shield. We need, I think if we go in, if we can get the brawler, I think we can go in just fine. Let's go, let's go grab him. Please don't suck. I'm not trying you out. Hire him. I wish tryout was one of those things where, like, you kind of had a free chance each, like, in a given amount of time to try out recruits. Um, I'd love that. Okay, you got an axe. 62.57. Wow, you're going to be a good recruit if I can keep you alive. Near short sides, yeah, I can handle it. We'll, we'll, ah, no, 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 no. You wear that. Thank you. Okay, leave. What else can we get at the marketplace? We need tools. 252 isn't bad. We can afford that. Repair up our stuff. I'm going to do it. Boy, we are pushing it now. We are pushing the edge of our funds. Kind of hate to go in without any sort of headgear whatsoever. A headshot's going to kill our archer like something bad. Although they're caravan hands. They're not going to have... All right, guys. We are being a little risky. We're being a bit gutsy. Um, caravan hands are not going to have what they need. To, they're not going to be able to attack my archer. It's simple. It's plain as that. This is, uh, is going to be iffy. We're going in. We are going to go find that caravan and destroy it and take their stuff. Wilderness, we need allies. Uh, we do need allies. We're going to take that one first. All right. Please say that caravan is still here. Ooh, peasants. Where are you from? Holschlag. If Holschlag hates us, they do then uh, absolutely we are going to kill these peasants for some easy experience points. Well, here's the caravan. They're, the peasants are running from us, so... A cart. That means there's four of them. It's going to be four on four. We're going to go for the caravan cart first. Uh, but peasants are in the way. There we go. Ah, uh, guys, we're going for it. Ah, uh, RNG, be on our side, please. We get to go first. Uh, show me where they're at. Wait. I don't think they're going to advance, but I don't want to tempt fate either. One, two, three, four. We can move there. I don't think they're going to move forward, but we'll wait. I don't want to move you too far forward just yet, either. Okay, you get in front. You get there. Oh, he went for it. They both did. Interesting. Interesting. 52% chance. Good luck, buddy. <gasps> Things are looking good. Things are looking good. You are done, unfortunately. Okay, lucky you. Ooh, unlucky you. Unlucky you. Ooh, he's coming for you, huh? You are gonna try to stab him. Nice job. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. Oh, you can, you can move one and shoot. That is very convenient. Uh, yes. Move here. I know he's coming for... Oh, that's so dangerous. Uh-huh. Love to kill that guy. Let's go for this guy first. <gasps> Ooh, so lucky. Get the heck out of there. Ooh, they are making a mistake. Oh, come on, buddy. One more. 62. Oh, my God. What bad luck. Okay, you should still be able to move before they do. Oh, buddy, don't die on me, Tylus. That would suck. We're going in here. We're going greedy. Oh, my God. You missed that. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, my God. Dare we. Shoot him. <gasps> you missed! Oh, no! You're gonna die! Good, good, good. Misses. 
Oh, oh, the AI is the AI is confused by my uh, amazing tactics. Dude, you've missed two sixty-two percent chances in a row. Don't do it again. There we go. Put your shield up. We got this now. I'm pretty sure we got this. Oh, we've still got this. Okay, we've got it under control. Oh, come on. Yes, we've got it under control. Oh, good. That's not good. You're a coward, that's right. That's your main problem. Uh, we will shoot you down. Yes, we did! I said we were gonna do it, and we did it. So happy. Okay. A faction that hates us is just gonna continue to hate us. That's okay. Put your shield up, just in case he gets ideas. Oh, nice. Off with his head. Ooh, guys, that could have gone worse. Um, I'm very happy it went as well as it did. Uh, a pittance of things. <laughs> um, uh, the food is welcome. I definitely am happy to have it, but yeah, we did not get a lot of money or anything. We did at least get some XP. Um, where are we at now? Uh, you are... your armor is not in a good way. Uh, you do not have anything like a melee weapon. So, uh, Scramasax is maybe better than a hatchet. Which one has less max fatigue penalty? Ooh. Alright, buddy, you get a hatchet. You need a backup melee weapon. Peasants, we are coming for you. We are here to attack you. Some peasants. There wasn't like five of them, is that right? Okay. Really? One, two, three, four. Well, if they close with you, then they close with you. We'll deal with it. They aren't going to close with you, though, because we get to move first, remember? Oh, that damn guy is a problem. That guy is a problem. You have high morale, though, but you have no armor, which is a problem. Okay. Move there and be done. You are going to move there and be done. Okay, let's see what they choose to do. Okay, good. A puncture that hits is a terrible thing. If I can get that guy's weapon, that would be uh, good. But I also need to kill him very badly. And he's not making it easy. Cleaver, I would like to get rid of that. Thank you for getting that. Thank you for missing. Oof, this is... This could go sour if we don't take care of this guy. That is bad. Ooh, that is bad news. That is really bad. We need you to hit, Gizbert. Okay, thank you for hitting. Ah, uh, Gizbert, buddy. Uh, come on. Ooh, not good. Good, he missed. Uh, well, definitely don't like this. Don't want to split my guys up either, though. Ooh. We gotta do this. I don't like it. Missing a chance to attack. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't do this to me. There you go. Okay, good misses are good. Ooh. We're gonna take this shot. No, we're gonna... Why? Why can't I? Why can't I use this on him? He's got that injury. Why can't I? Why can I not bandage him? Is it because I need to be? No, I can't. I need to kill that guy first. Sorry. We got we got priorities here. Okay. Nice. Good. This guy's the biggest problem. Oh, I don't like that at all. Gizbert, I think you better, uh, I think you better run. <gasps> that was not, okay. That's not good. Definitely don't like the situation here. Do not like the situation that's unfolding. Not good. Okay. Thank you. You just saved your brother's life. Uh, get away from him. Okay. Okay, not good, but we survived. We will survive. 
he is taken care of. Move here. Oh, have you stopped? Oh, you stopped bleeding. Okay, it was deep. I thought he got the pierced artery thing, and that was worrisome. Okay, Gisbert, you... If you move there, you're out of his range, and then you can chop him down. Totally fine with that. I know he's on high ground, but I think just taking the shot at 62% is worth it. Yes, it was. Run him down. Okay. Let's not waste any ammo on this fool. Okay. Yeah! Okay. Uh, deep abdominal cut. Not happy. More food. Some trash equipment. Easy experience points. Okay. Uh, the road... Does the road continue south? I have no idea. We are at the end of this episode. We have a person to name. I don't have a name for him yet, if anybody has any ideas. Uh, hatchet versus wooden stick. Really? It's minus six, and that's minus six? This seems... The hatchet seems like, overall, a better, better one. I think I prefer it. The nice thing about the stick is you can bonk somebody with it and hopefully uh, escape from them. So maybe try it until we get a knife. Okay. Uh, we are not in a we are not in a happy situation. So I'm gonna put everybody in the rear rank for a bit while we do more explorationing. And uh, like I said, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. I'm not sure when the next episode is going to come out because uh, I have not had any time whatsoever. I'm getting this ready just now to release today. I'm not even sure I'll have a thumbnail for this video ready by the time it comes out on YouTube. So if not, I apologize for the uh, amateurish presentation. Um, thank you for watching. As always, I uh, welcome the feedback. Um, and yeah, if you watch, just remember, if I say things off the cuff, they might be controversial. I might make mistakes and complain about them unfairly. So, you know, I'm a human being, though. Um, anyway, uh, fairness is not in my vocabulary. I'll talk to you in the next episode. Wish me the best of luck with this series. Uh, don't know how far, how long it'll go before, you know, like I said, just some panic spiral of death kills everybody, etc. See you then. Until then, bye-bye.